society meetings. There was a time when all of us used to gather in our community hall in order to discuss topics such as Diwali celebrations, Christmas parties and New Year's Eve. But today, the topics of discussion have taken a complete 360 degree turn. Now all we discuss is why people from a society are falling sick and getting diseases like malaria and diarrhea despite of having the cleanest society in the entire area. There was pin drop silence as no one had any idea about what was the root cause of this problem. Suddenly a small hand arose and broke the silence. I was shocked to see it was my daughter. She calmly walked up and said, "It was garbage." <laughs> Nobody could believe her as we had a very good system of garbage disposal. But she asked everyone to follow. She showed us how garbage was only collected near our society. waiting to be taken for dumping it had foul smell and attracted all sorts of rodents and insects and animals around it we did not even know that this smell was dangerous too she then showed us how we are collecting garbage in huge quantities at different places in our daily lives like malls hotels wholesale markets hospitals schools etc these places are few of the bulk waste generating sites All these places were producing waste in bulk which was decomposing and causing harm to environment apart from destroying us bit by bit. We reached one of the filthiest places in the whole world which housed the scariest looking monster, the landfill site where all our garbage is dumped. The place seemed never ending. She then told us about decentralization. That is segregation of waste at the point of collection. Garbage collected has two portions wet garbage such as vegetable waste fruit waste horticulture waste etc also known as organic waste and dry garbage such as plastics metals glasses rubber also known as inorganic waste on an average each one of us generates half a kg of garbage daily out of which approximately 60% is organic waste this organic waste creates a liquid called as leachate which releases harmful odor and is also one of the largest causes for diseases like malaria and diarrhea and other bigger diseases when in large quantity so we need to follow the three simple rs if we would have collected this organic waste separately we could have converted this into one of the most efficient compost for agriculture due to this the amount of garbage collected for dumping would be lessened Not only will this bring down the cost of transportation of this waste drastically but also the need for such huge landfill site will reduce. This can again give us a land back from landfill sites which then can be used for further beneficial purposes rather than making landfill site a home for garbage godzilla. This by a simple method of segregation not only will we save our environment we will also be contributing back to it.